Adam Decano is another savior, IPOP members claims, as they sing his praise in front of DSS custody. As reported by Sahara TV posted on social media, Namde Kano supporters stormed the DSS custody, protesting and singing, singing and calling Mazin Namde Kano the savior of the Igbos. Namde Kano, yes, is the savior. He deserves a fair trial. Everyone does know that. However, the unity of Nigerian is non-negotiable. Namde Kano deserves a freedom and deserves to be appreciated for fighting for his people. Hmm. Wow, wow, wow. Well, man, looking at this anyway, you will see that um, you will see that uh, there is truth in what I've just been said, except you want to be biased. You understand? Except you want to be biased. Everybody knows. Be you an Igbo, be you a Northern. I can remember vividly what a Northern elder once said. He said, frankly speaking, that the Igbos don't know what they have. I'm telling you. You understand now? They don't know what they have. That is what this, he said. He said how he wishes that Namde Kano is from the north, that the Igbos don't know what they have. That is just uh, a clear example of what this very statement is trying to, um, to explain. And aside from that, um another fact is um the northerners that are showing interest in becoming a part of the Biafra Republic. You understand? It's another fact. Now you ask yourself, why will a northerner who is even a Muslim be agitating to be a part of Biafra freedom? Have you asked yourself that question? One of them said yesterday, yesterday, no, last week, he said, reconcile with Imam the Kano because if they leave, we will suffer. My dear viewers, these facts, these little, little facts are what's supposed to be picked and what's supposed to be picked one after the other, one after the other, just like that, one after the other, before, after which they will now, uh, 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 you will, uh, they will now, um, you know, uh, this, uh, uh, the, uh, arrive at a conclusion that yes, what the IPOPs are actually saying is the truth. You understand? That is just it. Mazen Namde Kano deserves an accolade. I don't know of you. Even I that is doing this broadcast, I'm not even an IPOP. But based on what I've been seeing, I've been hearing, this guy in fact, he deserves an accolade. Do you know what it means for someone to put his own life on the line for the sake of a region? What the Nam Kano is fighting for a region, no? a whole region, in and is the southeast region. Do you understand? Nam Kano is another Odumebu Ojuku. He's another Odumebu Ojuku. And if you look at it very well, you will see that Namikano is full of gods and confidence. Not minding what they would do to him, what will be, will be said to him, he stood on his ground and faced his fears. 
Mazina Bikano deserves an accolade, my dear. Please tell us of the truth. This guy is really working and has really worked. Do you understand now? Has really worked. But a lot of persons, uh, Igbo leaders, most especially, don't appreciate that. But I know that it is because of jealousy. I know because it is because of jealousy. They are jealous of Unamdekanu's progress, most especially uh, Wazurike and some other uh, uh, Biafran leaders. Do you understand now? And other Biafran leaders. So I don't really know what is the problem. But one thing that I believe is, is that they are just feeling jealous of Unamdekanu's progress. And that is why they have to mastermind behind the closed door with Nigerian government to uh, arrest and extradite Mazin and the Kano. What you see, you, you, you will see those who are behind it and you will shock. Though their names are gradually being revealed, the Southeast governors are part of it. There is no way they will deny that. That is a fact. They are part and parcel. Of it, part and parcel of it. You see that. So these are the things that we are looking at, and we are saying, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. "Are you getting it?" Yeah. So um, let us just be frank to ourselves and begin to tell ourselves the humble truth, or else we will be the one. To be at the losing side, our our leaders, our governors, they have just been uh, following Bwari sheepishly without knowing Bwari's hidden agenda. Without knowing Bwari is hidden agenda, he is the one extorting them, deceiving them, and you know using them. But they don't know, and they keep following him like like a cow. He, he keeps making them believe that he have good plans for the southeast. Whereas there is nothing like that. No single plan. No single good plan. Don't listen. I can't accept that. It's a lie. It is a pure lie. Paul doesn't have any good plan for the southeast. Do you understand? It doesn't. What Bari wants is to put an end to the Biafran agitation, achieve his Islamization agenda, and you know, hand the South East over to someone to, to someone else. But our leaders don't want to know. They they they, they refuse to understand. They think he has any good agenda for them. I only laugh because we, we, we are lost. Absolutely lost. Alright? We are all here watching. Watching patiently. Let's see what that is going to um, is, is going to bring to us at the end of the day. Because left alone me. I don't think um, this country actually have anything, any good plan for the people. Do you understand? All right. Okay. Um, let me hear from you to know what you have to say. Okay. So please don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.